there. Now you can see here, these are purely tropical and this wave here, it's tough to see. I'll zoom in in a minute. That whole thing, which is almost a thousand miles wide. Okay. Here to DC just about, uh, is 90% chance of developing. All right. The one behind it just came off of Africa, and we're talking about this right here, has about a 20% chance of developing over the next several days. So we'll keep an eye on that one. But this is the one that we're watching, and look what's happening overnight. You see that convection near the center? That right there is most likely a depression. So we'll probably get one, I'd say sometime tomorrow morning, which means we'll get a cone. We've been running models on it, okay, because it's an invest, but look what they're doing. They go to the north and the northwest, and then back to the north and eventually out to the north and the east. Hopefully that stays. I think it does. Most of the models have been suggesting that. This is just the GFS model, and you can see all of the models basically do want to keep it and recurve it, but some recurve it over here, some recurve it way early. That's to show you that just the GFS alone has some question about exactly where it goes, and most of the models kind of look like that.